What up? This is Robert Ory. Ory, three pointer. There is it. You might know me as Big Shot Bob. So Ory for three. Oh, unbelievable! Oh, this guy is off the charts. What's going on, Big Shot Bob? Robert Ory from downtown. Oh boy, here we go. It is the Big Shot Bob Pod. This is our shoot around. We've done about 25 of these jokers, uh, our little bonus Friday show. <laughs> if you ever got something you want to throw our way, we're at Big Shot Bob Pod pretty much everywhere. The husk of Twitter, uh, <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, uh, and we're at Big Shot, Big Shot Bob Pod at gmail.com. If you ever want to send anything our way, we do have a couple of uh, listener questions to get to this week. We will get to those shortly. I wanted to start with, we brought up OnlyFans. We were talking about the uh, the Hawks thing. They got a nice My response on the Tuesday show. Rob's new OnlyFans <laughs> account. Um, but there was a story. Somebody sent me this. There was a story yep. uh, yeah. about OnlyFans this week. Joe Smith, uh, 48-year-old former number one overall NBA draft pick, uh, got into a little skirmish with his wife on social media, which I didn't realize was even happening. Um, yeah, but apparently uh, he caught his wife, Kisha, uh, Kisha Chavis, uh, she was, I guess, a former adult actress mm-hmm. who he's now with. Um, found her scrolling through her phone one night and realized she was scrolling through her OnlyFans account. And she was posting a bunch of videos and stuff. And he didn't know anything about it. So they got into this big fight. Of course, she films it and puts the whole thing up online because, of course, why, why wouldn't you do that? Uh, and he said he's been sleeping at a hotel since the whole thing went down. Uh, so now there's all these like stories about it and. People are doing interviews with the two of them to find out how it went down. But I guess my question is, what would you do if you found out that Candace was running an OnlyFans account behind your back? You had no clue it was happening. She's posting all kinds of scantily cladness oh, online. Lord. You had no idea. And you find First, out. I'm asking him. I need, I need to see exactly what she's doing. I need, I would need to see it all. And then I'm like, and then we have discussion after that. But if it's something that I don't I agree with, we're going to have to have a major discussion about that. And I'm going to bring in her daughter and her children. Oh, you brought the kids son. in. Yeah. Shit, you- I'm like, hey, <laughs> if you're going to do it, hey, you explain this to the family and tell us why wow. you thought it would be wise for you to put all our images and all our names and uh, at risk by you doing this OnlyFans thing. I can't disagree with him. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's not one. I got to figure out why you felt the need to hide it. One, because obviously, well, I think in the case of this Joe Smith story, I th- it seems as though he, him, and her, when they got together, there was like an agreement that this was that her activities in the X-rated community were going to stop. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe she probably just saw it as like, a, well, I could probably rake in some money. Well, I also think that she she felt as though like his finances weren't in the greatest of places. And like she wanted I, I don't know if, you know, there's a certain lifestyle that she's used to living and or he used to provide that he doesn't provide anymore. And she figured, well, shoot, I might as well go back to at least doing some sort of the things that I used to do. But yeah. I, I think if you look. That ain't for me. Like I'm not married, but even if I'm if I'm dating somebody and I found that out, that would be it. That would be an issue because that ain't. There are other things that you can do that I think are, are a lot more honest than that. Not knocking anybody that chooses to do said things. That's that's your business. But <laughs> that ain't that ain't what I'm that ain't what I'm it's, looking for. I, I but here's my here, um, this is my this is one of my favorite lines. You knew the job was dangerous when you took it. So, Joe, you knew her background. Mm-hmm. You knew what she used to do. Mm-hmm. So you can't complain, even though you told her to give up that life. I'm like, mm, it's it's already out there. This is it, in this day and age, they looking at it anyway. Oh, Why can't nothing, she get paid for seen. it? Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, but but Why can't you get paid for it? Like they looking at it anyway for free. You're right. So, but here's my problem with that. What we're also looking what, that also sounds like people can't change. Because mm-hmm. then you're looking at it from the standpoint of who somebody used to be is who they are now. And that's not necessarily always but the case. In this case, though, she's actually changed because she, uh, cause she ain't getting 
slapped all in the face with other man's genitals. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> wow. Thank you for that. <laughs> thank you for that. Wow. Image. <laughs> uh, uh, wow. Uh, uh. Oh my! My point is is that you know you would rather for your if your wife was in the business now she's not you'd rather for things to be pictures be taken than pictures of being taken with other men's problems on you. Hey, basically you want to see your wife with some chin nuts. That's all I want to say. Jesus Christ! Hey, I didn't need I didn't need to, dude. I didn't need to. Dog, wait a minute. I've never wanted to fold up stakes on a show quicker than this one. Wait a minute, like, man. Let's just say we had a great week, and this is we capped it off with chin nuts. I didn't need, I didn't need the example. I really, I could have done what I By the way, the name of this week's shoot around is going to be chin nuts, and you're just going to have to deal with it. You're going to have to deal with it. But, bro, oh, hey, man. Y'all, hey, y'all all know that joke. Oh. <laughs> Oh. You know the joke, right? What's what do you call a pee on the wall? No. I mean, uh, 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 I mean, uh, <laughs> and then you what you call it like a, a uh, uh, <laughs> what do you call a net on the chest? Oh Lord Jesus! Uh, like a, what do you call it? some pee? On, like it's like peanut and a chestnut. Oh, and then God. they go to it's like what do you call it? And they call it something else. I'm not. You know the joke, man. Right. I'm not a good uh, joke teller. Clearly, we know the joke. <laughs> and, and this is one of them jokes that that had to be. You had to tell this flawlessly because yeah. the fact that you're struggling <laughs> and it's a joke and probably shouldn't be told. Hey, it's, it's, I'm not telling. It. That's why I'm trying. That's why I'm struggling because I don't want to tell the joke. Oh my god. <laughs> But everybody know what what chin nuts are, so it's like. You know, <laughs> well, you think about that though, man. Well, uh, God bless. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, no, I, I, like, I've, I've always, from, from a weird perspective, I would think of the fact that, like, if you're into that lifestyle, like, if you're into the X-rated lifestyle, mm-hmm. whatever, that's fine. It is what it is. How do you like have a relationship with another person? Like, how does that work? <laughs> Because the dynamic of that, to your joke, is ridiculous. Like, yeah. I, I could never be with a woman knowing that that is out there in the world. Y'all know who, um, do y'all know who Adam 22 is? Oh, I've heard of these are the guys got the podcast or something, right? Yeah, so he has a podcast, and his wife is a porn star. Okay. He, oh, yeah. He, I know he used to be, he they, used to be they as make well. news a lot. Yeah, they make news a lot, yeah. he is the complete opposite of us to where, he used to be in the industry, too. He literally... At this point, is basically pimping out his wife, and well, they got a show coming out. They've got all they've gotten all kinds of publicity off yeah, the stuff. Yeah, boy. What was the one like the the there was a teacher, who, like a high school teacher, who was all over the news, who who got fired from her job because she had an OnlyFans page. Yeah, and I don't remember her name, but it was all over. She's like a Missouri high school teacher. Yeah, and it came out that she had an OnlyFans, and then she's back in the news because that dude and his wife made shot some porn scene or something with her yeah and then not like they're back in the news now so yeah. he's in the news all the time okay. yeah wow. yeah but yeah. i don't like i just man oof. yeah but that, that this life that's not for me that's not i just know like it, not for me and i threw out the hypothetical <laughs> knowing it was a hypothetical in the sense of what would you do if you found out your wife or girlfriend yeah. had an only fans because every time we turn on this camera Rob's wife don't even want to be on the camera. Like she's like, cover that camera. I don't like. So I don't. I don't imagine she would ever out yeah. there be out there doing. No. It. Hey, Rob, hey, is, bet, yeah. is there? Bet. If you sat out, sitting down and having that conversation, regardless of what that conversation entails, mm-hmm. is there any reasoning that your wife could give you that would be okay to you for her doing something like this during yeah. this conversation? Well, it, you know, I don't know. I'm, I don't know anything about OnlyFans. Is it like X-rated or is it? It can it, be. I think Most it, of it I is. I think it sort uh, of runs the gamut. Yeah, right. Like okay. you can post as much or as little stuff on there. So, <laughs> like, if I'm looking at everything she's posted, mm-hmm. and there's no stuff that I don't think like it's just something you know, like nipples or JJ that's been shown. That is like I got we no it's no. Okay. But I don't care if she's making like twenty million dollars. No, don't be showing everybody what I'm sleeping with. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel that. But if 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 there's nothing being shown and that paycheck comes in, like <laughs> like catch me outside, girl, I'm rolling with it. Yeah, like, but my I'm thing is, I want to know because a lot of the women, it they making the money because <laughs> it's a lot being shown, yeah. right? 
So it ain't. It's not a lot of people who ain't showing nothing and making a lot of money. Celebrities. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of celebrities that can post like uh, scantily clad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not not full on. Here's here's all the goods and the bits, and you don't have you know. But don't you have to like like get a membership and subscribe? And yeah, you got yeah, to subscribe to the page. Yeah, you got to subscribe to the page site. And it, you know, I don't know about it. Yeah, it's a page yeah. site. And so now, like, and I think you can charge whatever you so desire. Right. Like, mm-hmm. I think you can set the the money. <laughs> Would you now? What if? What if? Uh, notes here. <laughs> now, what if? You write the stuff down, Jesus. She was like a um, a foot model. Because you know, it's a lot of people out there with foot fetishes. I, I that heard about that. There are yeah. okay. Uh-huh. So now there's weird. There's weird shit in that in that area. Not just the foot stuff, but like there's people <laughs> and and my wife has told me about this. There are people <laughs> that have OnlyFans accounts where it's like beautiful women in low cut shirts. Yeah. Eating cereal. Yeah, yeah, and people pay to watch them sort of sloppily eat cereal, like, and the milk like is all and it's milk. dripping. Yeah, there's and some it's, people that pay for some weird stuff. But boy. there's no bits and goods and berries yeah. out there for the world. It's just you're playing to a fetish. Yeah, and they'll pay, and those people pay. I mean. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like, go eat some milk. <laughs> go get some milk. <laughs> I heard about this woman who, this is, it's the complete opposite spectrums of what she's doing and what she's doing. This is the whole shoot around this she, week, by the way. I'm scrapping all the rest of the stories. <laughs> <laughs> We're like completely she, with this. She, she reads the Bible and nothing but lingerie. Oh, oh Lord, no. Well, there's, <laughs> hold on now. The road to hell is paved with uh, good OnlyFans intentions, I would think, there. Cause she, reads, she reads the Bible in her lingerie, from what I heard. Hey, now, does she have glasses on? <laughs> and, and my other question is, how does she read the Bible? I don't know. Yeah. She, but I just know they say that she reads the the content is she's in lingerie and she reads the Bible. She goes, I don't know what book she chooses. Just like I think she chooses the books of the Bible, like she chooses a lingerie. God made Adam and his likeness, and then along came Eve, and that's where it gets a little bit scary. <laughs> and so I'm like, and that's where it gets and really people, hot. and there are people who will pay, and they'll say, well, look, I'm 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 getting my word, and I'm getting my look on. And I'm like, yeah, no. I'm getting my word and I'm getting my look on. I don't think it works like that. But that's the type of weird stuff that people will pay for. Yeah. I'm just saying. No, I know. No, Mm -hmm. look, the internet. And that's why I'm upset at you two thinking that I can't make no money. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so I, I guess, like, what content do you put into the world, though? I got, I got some. My feet look better than Shaq's feet. Oh God! See, nobody <laughs> wants to see an NBA player's feet, bro. I'm sorry. Shaq's feet look like something that were like was spawned in the depths of hell. Like <laughs> they come out like all craggly. Like one of them talks to you. It's just terrible. Like everything Ooh. about it's horrible. No, yeah, it's just man, God. There's some weird, 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 weird shit on the internet. Um. All right. Well, I mean, I don't even know how much more of this. We <laughs> we want to do. We'll throw a few more topics out and we'll do them mm-hmm. quick here. Question was from Corey. Uh, Mike Malone is getting an extension in Denver. I don't give a shit. He doesn't seem to care. Um, it's going to make him one of the highest paid coaches in the league. You guys crap on him a lot, but do you think he's a good coach? Or is it just easy to be a good coach when you have the best players in the world? Well, those best players in the world weren't always the best players. I hate when people do this. Mm-hmm. I really do. Because we weren't talking about Joker the way we're talking about him now. We weren't always talking about him like this. Now, we knew that he was good, but we didn't know that he could potentially – how many MVPs has he won? Two? Two. I mean, there are some Should have won three. There are people who are talking about him right now, depending on how this season goes, that he could win a third. Like, we weren't talking about him like this. And the way that he's uh, – Mike Malone has been able to also deal with Jamal Murray's injury and still be able to compete – and have other guys and get the best out of those guys. It's easy when a when a, a superstar, when a guy becomes a superstar, as if we always saw this guy becoming a superstar. No, you got to give Mike Malone his credit. Yeah, yeah. You know the thing about this is you have to have a vision as a coach. There's a lot of coaches that have a team, but they don't have the right vision right. for that team. You have to be able to put guys in the right position to be successful. 
And I think with him, realize what Jokic do at a point center. He says, okay, we're going to put Jokic at the point center. We're going to play him. We're going to use his skill sets to the best of our team. And then incorporate that with Murray. Think about it. Jokic was able to keep that team afloat because he put him in that position not to just play with his back to the basket, but to be everywhere and do whatever to make that team better. So, I, and it, and to me, it always goes hand in hand when it comes with players and coaches. You know, they both need each other. You know, it, it isn't like oh, I'm better than you, and like I can make you an all star because I'm this great coach. No, you know, I can make you a great coach because I'm an all star. It goes hand in hand. So in this one, I think it really goes hand in hand, but more so on his side, on uh, Malone's side, because he saw the vision. And the, the follow-up question was, was Phil Jackson really that great, or did he just have Jordan, Pippen, Kobe, and Shaq oh, in their prime? go with this. I, y'all. That was the follow-up question. Rob, can, you mind if I take this one? Yeah, I'm just going to say, I'm going to repeat what I just said. So it's, Okay. Well, they, no, I mean, if it's the same argument, it's other. the same yeah. argument. Yeah, fine. Mm-hmm. And, but, but added to that is coaching is not just about X's and O's. Co- great coaching is about managing egos. I don't know mm-hmm. a coach that had to manage more egos throughout his career than Phil Jackson between the bull. The man literally had to figure out how to go get uh, uh, Dennis, Dennis Rodman out of Vegas. He <laughs> sat down with Michael Jordan to figure out what we going to do about this. He had he it's had like the an whole, extraction plan. <laughs> he had the whole Kobe and the Shaq debacle. He, you have to learn how to manage egos when you have a lot of uh, uh, when you have a lot of big dogs on your team, and I think Phil Jackson was able to do that, in, in which he was able to get the best out of those great players. Because another coach, they could have lost respect for him and drove him up out of there. So no, you give Phil Jackson all his credit. Well, and Shaq has said that too. Yes, Shaq said that with um, uh, Del Harris. He just <laughs> said we 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 weren't playing for him. We weren't we weren't really playing. We, for him. We, yeah, it's it's. That that was that and that had, some of that shit happened before I got there. It was some funny shit. <laughs> that, that, that whole team and all the craziness and it, it's about having control and putting, like I said, having control. Like if you look at that Laker team, we had four All Stars that year, got swept by the Utah Jazz, but it was just, it was no direction. You know, you need yeah. to, a coach is there to steer the ship and make sure that you roll down the right path and get to where you need to be. So yeah, okay. Just, just random fan questions. Uh, top rated players in the league. This is a global ranking system based on points, minutes, and overall impact while on the floor. This is only a small sample size. First, what, 10, 9, 10 games of the season. Mm-hmm. You think you guys could pull the top 10? Jokic. Number one. <laughs> Luka. Number three. Jason Tatum. Number five. Uh, Joel B playing good. So Number Joel two. Okay. You pulled... Most of the top five. Maxi. Oh, number four. Mm. Giannis. I mean, yeah, Giannis. Yeah, Giannis That's is number cool. nine. Mm-hmm. Um, Jalen Brown's not on that list, is he? Uh, he is not. Okay. Oh, the slider. Uh, how about let's see, Anthony Edwards. Yeah, uh, number Ant-Man, seven. Ant Man. Ant Man killing it right now. Killing it, boy. Mm-hmm. What are you telling? Um, oh, KD. Uh, Durant came in at twelve. Wow. He did. Yeah. Um. Let's see, we're missing three. Is Steph on there? Steph's number eight. Okay. I think just because of the sheer volume of threes yeah. he's hitting so far this year. Are hey, there, what, are, is, is are, Kyrie on there? Because he's playing really good too. Uh, he's he's not actually. He didn't make that list. Oh, okay. Is there a? He might be on the the greater list. He's not the top ten. Uh, let me see. So you're down to two, and I mean one of them you should get. The other one I'd be I was kind of surprised by. Is, uh, I, I'm trying to think of people who scoring a lot of points. Uh, Donovan Mitchell. Uh, Mitchell fell in at 15. Yeah, okay. it's not Mitchell. Uh, oh, Shay. Dame Lillard. Yeah, there is Shay. Shay's number six. Uh, Dame is not on here. Okay. Um, number ten is the only one you guys have missed, and I I wouldn't have pulled this as number ten, so I don't know if you're going to get it. Oh, he scored a lot of points one time. What's his name? The guy in Chicago, Zach Levine. No. Oh. No, he was not. Um. What's his name in Brooklyn? Cam Robbins? No. Cam something? Oh. No. Okay. It was Tyrese Halliburton. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because he gets a lot of assists and points. Yeah. Yeah. Tyrese. So yeah. it was, again, it was points, minutes, and overall impact on the floor. Okay. So, yeah, that's your top 10. Then AD was 11. Uh, Durant was 12. Singoon was 13. Bam was 14. Then Donovan Mitchell was 15. He said Donovan. So, 
But yeah, those are, I mean, it's again, it's a small sample size, but there's a couple mm -hmm. names on that list that kind of surprised me. More yeah. or less, though, you, you were able to fill those in. Uh, this one was a fill in the blank. I saw this on social. I thought it would be interesting to get your guys' take on it because I didn't even have an answer for it. Uh, can you fill in the blank? Wembenyama is better than prime blank. Robert Uri. <laughs> well, <laughs> Wembenyama is already better than you were in your prime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wembenyama is better than prime. Did I see this on social? I'm not sure. I, re I think I reposted it. Um, but I, did, I couldn't I really drum up a good answer, though. It wasn't direct, was it? No, no, no. It was just, no. it was a what is your opinion type of a question. Oh, it wasn't a... Oh, it wasn't a there, was okay. no, okay. there was no answer to it. It was just, who would you put in there? Wembenyama is better than prime blank, but it's like... No, but there's a lot really, right. There's a problem that, yeah. is he's so it's, early in his career yeah, and, and putting anybody in there is kind enough. of an unfair comparison. This is a clickbait yeah. type of thing. Oh, well, yeah, I'm right. But I just figured it was worth discussion. If it was something so, that you some guys person could even... sit and say, oh, he's better than a prime, a large one or a prime will. <laughs> just no. of the which height is ridiculous. Like, which is yeah. ridiculous. He can't really say it's not. It's, it's the sample size is way too small right now for him. You know, I will go with prime Robert or Prime Robert, uh, let's go with that one. Question from Chris. Honestly, I cannot stand Pat McAfee. Is there a sports TV analyst or commentator you really don't like? That was the question. Uh, Rob Jenners. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, man. Shut up. <laughs> Do the show in the what? goodness of my heart, you shit on me. Uh, <laughs> You better get that OnlyFans going, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys, man. You 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 make my Tuesday every day. It's like this is the thing I look forward to. But there's there's nobody because I don't really watch anybody enough, you know, to be like, oh, I, I, and I like, think about it. If it's someone you don't like, you just turn the TV. It's so. Yeah, but you probably also don't like them because you've seen enough of them as well to where you know you don't like them. Um, oh, you know who I will not watch and I can't. I, I will mute the TV. Who is Dick Vitale? You know that goes. Oh, we've had that story. Oh, we, we know. Yeah. We know. Yeah, yeah. We know. For me, so it's Skip. It's, for me, it's Skip. That's the yeah. one. I, I have a really hard time with Skip. I, I, and I think my my problem with him is, I just can't take everything he says. Seems like it's so overblown and so over the top that it feels like he's trying to do more with his opinion than that really exists. And it's like, I don't like that. And just be you. And I'm kind of there with, not completely there. Kind of there. Even though I don't really listen to him anymore. Colin Cowherd. I just yeah, he's getting there. Narrative. Anybody type watch of guy. this show anymore? I don't. I mean, he's on Fox Sports, so yeah. comes on right on after. Look, uh, good for Colin. He got the vo he's he's the volume. That platform is Collins. I oh believe. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, he's yeah. got some stuff going. Good I, for him. But I don't. Watch. I was never a huge cowherd. Guy. I used to listen to him, then I stopped. Yeah, yeah. I was. I was just never a big. Yeah, nah, like if I was cleaning the house, I would like you know have it on and listen to. It, but I don't. I don't listen to him. Anymore. Ever since Shannon left FS1, I've I've left F, FS1 behind. I kind of agree with you, man. Um, I, I used to listen to college just to see how much he used to sh crap on Alabama back in the day. Just see what he's saying, so I could disagree with him. <laughs> just you want to have someone to disagree with sometimes. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll wrap it up with Lou Will. I have Lou Will talking about the bubble. This audio popped up this week. He was sitting down with Trey Young for a podcast. Mm -hmm. They were talking about the Clippers in the bubble. In 2021, uh, here's what Lou Hill had to say about playing in the bubble. It was a struggle to get us to the bubble to begin with. <laughs> we didn't even want to go, mm -hmm. you know, so I think just mentally we came into it uh, without just the, the right mindset to, to, to finish the job. We didn't we didn't even want to be there. And I think once we got there and we was in it, you know, I think I was in the bubble. Ninety seven days was was how long I was there. And I think about day 67, I was like, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, so I think mentally we wasn't in it for the long game. We didn't really see, we didn't really see, you know, the pot of gold at the end of it. We were starting to hear the rumblings like, oh, nobody's going to respect this chip and all of that. And so I think we kind of just took our foot off the gas. Mm -hmm. That's why the Clippers didn't win in the bubble. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I mean, I, I think he's... I know. I think he's being honest and he's being real, but then at the same time, you know, we've heard variations of that when it came to the Clippers, and I'm like, people were yearning for basketball to come back, and they brought basketball back in the best way they possibly could. True. I I don't like the idea of. Well, we didn't think anyone was going to respect the championship, so we just decided we weren't going to win it. Right. That 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 <laughs> screams bullshit to me. Right. <laughs> that screams excuse because it's like. 
Nobody heard the rumblings of no one's going to ex- respect the chip until well after the chip. It was well <laughs> after the bubble was done that people started to kind of call into question, is yeah. this a legitimate title because of the shortened season and the way it was played? But, I mean, dude, if you have a chance to win a title in, in any way, shape, or form, you always go after it. Yeah, there has all- to be incentives in his contract that says if he wins a title, he gets XYZ bonus or something. And the only reason folks don't look at it like a legitimate championship is because the Lakers won it. If it was if Miami had won it or anybody else had won it, we wouldn't have had that conversation. Do you respect True. the chip bubble? Rob? I do. I, I because anytime you go out there and you put and sacrifice what you need to try to get a chip, yeah. You know, it's like even when every, everybody used to talk about the um, '99 championship for the Spurs. Oh, yeah, the everybody season. else had the same. Everybody else had the same opportunity. Yeah. So, don't get mad because they took advantage of the opportunity and won. So, yeah, that's just how I look at it, man. So don't don't disrespect the chip. Like you want to play, everybody has pride as an athlete. When you step on that court, you're gonna play as hard as you can. And if you don't want to, you don't go on the court because you got fear of getting hurt. So, right. But if that's I your ring. It. I mean, if yeah. that's your ring, you get to retire and you go, that's the ring that you won. Mm-hmm. You, you want a ring. Yeah. You don't get to put an asterisk next to it. It doesn't work that way. You want a ring. Yeah. You Like you just said, everybody had the same exact. I mean, if anything, the bubble might have been the most level playing ground we've ever had. True. You had no True. fans. True. You had no home court advantage. Nothing. Now, mentally, yeah. were you in a position to want to be able to play all that time? Probably not. But you had the most level playing field maybe ever in the NBA. There was no home court advantage. There was no bias. There was no, It was everybody's on the same floor all the time at one-on-one go at each other. And if, like, the Lakers won it. Yeah. It, the Clippers, if you were that good and you thought you could have won it, at no point should you have taken your foot off the gas because... <laughs> and, who, who, and who bounced the Clippers? Who did bounce the Clippers? I don't even remember. I thought it was the Lakers that bounced. Was it? I don't even remember. It wasn't the Lakers. Oh, or was it uh, Denver? It may have been Denver. Nobody respects that chip anyway, so who gives a shit? (laughs) (laughs) Who who gives a shit, right? I don't don't Mm -hmm. give a shit. Mike Malone, do you you care at all about it? I don't give a shit. He don't care. (laughs) 